Right, so this is my guide to the K1 revelation uh, on the moon. Sorry, apologies. Uh, this took so long that I lost the little bit at the beginning where I normally show where it is on the map, but it's in the moon in Soros Harbour in the middle. Should be able to find it. Uh, this was at the end of a very long run. I think this took me about three hours to do in total. Um, it, although it's a void burn, I tried various void weapons and I found it too inconsistent, so I went back to good old anarchy. Uh, for the, so you can try void weapons, but this is really for me. This this is the most difficult lost sector I've done. Uh, it's quite long, so you need to keep your focus. But there's also because of the the way that the the mini bosses interlock at the end, the three separate areas, and they overlook each other. It's really quite difficult to do. Uh, plus with unstoppables, I found it too difficult to swap between say the unstoppable uh, grenade launcher and then going on to a rocket launcher to to actually do damage so you can see this entry room i'm using a mixture of the grenades uh, the, the the void grenades from the top tree void warlock and uh, scout rifle uh, if i see a war mine cell i'll blow it up that will generally clear the room there are a couple of bits where uh, in the n numerous times I did this, I found what I think are maybe a f a f not shortcuts, but things that make things slightly easier in a couple of places. Be aware also that attrition is on, so using a, a warlock is really quite useful because you get around the, the lack of, of health regen. So I think there's probably about 12 acolytes in this first room that spawn in in a few different in a few waves uh, one after another they'll be uh, once you've shot enough of them they'll start trying to escape down to a lower platform so uh, I think actually I got rid of all of them there in which case there's a barrier champion here if you've killed everything the get barrier champion will also have jumped down oh, um, there must be a couple that are still alive. So, usual thing, the barrier champion, get the breach and clear, get the grenade launcher on, and then just try and finish him off. As I say, there is void, 50% void damage here, so uh, the overcharged grenades do a really good job of clearing things up all right if you can manage to spawn a war mine cell here with more war mines discreet and it stays up there just walk forward and that will spawn the acolytes at the top then shoot and that will clear that and you can see that means that the barrier champion will jump up to that platform that means this is the first little kind of easy section you can just inch forward here and as long as there's nothing but that barrier champion that's jumped up to that platform you can shoot the shrieker without it starting to fire if anything's on the platform any acolytes are on there it seems to fire back at this stage but you can you know just inch forward and open it if you move forward a little bit too further too much further it will start firing back but this moment you see it open stop and see if you can get the uh, get it without uh, without being damaged Useful thing to note here is that the the flame cannons that they're using here, I don't know what the technical term is, if you're standing right in front of them when they're firing, then they seem to miss you. You've got to be slightly off centre for them to hit you, uh, which means, as I say, directly in front is is a bit of a safe place to to go. Now, you'll get some cover up here on this 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 platform but you will need to keep moving because the acolytes will keep spamming grenades up here and they're very good at hitting you behind whatever bit of cover you're on the nice thing about this over the legendary is that the uh, instead of a boomer knight up top you've now got a barrier knight and the boomer knight obviously is piling those arc shots down at you which have area of effect damage as well whereas the these barrier knights have I say this 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 flame cannon which isn't as effective at range so you yeah, take your time picking the uh, 
acolytes off here. I would say don't worry about the clock at all. If you're going for the solo here, uh, the solo flawless clear, you're, you're going to be going to orbit as soon as you uh, as soon as you die anyway. So just regard this whole thing uh, as a, an untimed run. So you see, I'm trying to find a bead on uh, these down here. The grenade does a really good job clearing that lot down there. If you find a group of them, obviously, grenade is good. Grenade launcher. I'm using the salvager salvo with chain reaction and the uh, ambitious assassin. Which, if I was halfway decent at landing grenade shots, would be quite good. Now, this barrier champion, when he's positioned there, is really annoying because you hit him and he'll immediately jump to my left and into cover. So his right, my left. If he's where that acolyte is, or was a few seconds ago, it's a bit easier because he will tend to stay out in the open a little bit more readily, which means that he'll put the shield up and you can break his shield. But he'll tend to roll away from the direction of the grenade launcher shot, which means that puts him straight into the into cover. Yeah, that was my mistake. I started shooting before. So I kind of completely messed that up. I started shooting and actually detonated my Slover bomb much too early. Otherwise, that might have got him down. But there you go. Really annoying. Oh, no. Well lucky that time but otherwise usually they go behind there and heal up completely by the time they come back out again right so again i'm that will now when you kill all of the ads in a single area so i don't think i've killed everything up top yet that will then spawn an unstoppable ogre so just be aware you probably don't want two of those up at the same time although the one at the, at the top here on the left isn't quite so bad because initially it'll be uh, out of line of sight. It'll be behind some crates, which means that it won't have line, line of sight if you're here uh, on this kind of raised platform. So the barrier knight in the kind of lower right hand area by these, what they look like kind of fuel tanks, will hide behind the fuel tanks. So. If you're lucky, you'll be able to get him out. And you see, you're standing right in front of him, but those shots don't don't really hit you. They go either side. Right, not everything is dead down there yet. Otherwise, the ogre would have spawned. The ogre replaces what previously comes out in the legendary or the normal lost sector of, of uh, solar shielded witches coming out. So the, there's only one thing in here that has a shield at all and that's right at the end uh, after you've killed the boss or when you're killing the boss you get a an arc shielded melee knight coming out. So that's the one thing you will need. Something with melee damage. Uh, that's why I've chosen Salvager Salvo but in the event Anarchy is does a really good job as well, obviously. So yes, this is what I, where I tend to set up home base here. As you can see, it provides reasonable cover as long as you can keep moving around and stop yourself. Now, I'm going to go up here and try and kill the remaining ads up here. So I think it looks like there's only this one in Acolyte at the front. There's others in the middle which aren't connected with the group here. As soon as that, the new Acolyte spawns. So I am heading straight down here because otherwise that overload ogre will come out and will melt you instantaneously because there's extra void damage here. Uh, you won't even be able to turn around. Now, this is where just that area there is where the Acolytes tend to congregate if you're standing on this platform. So, uh, a good grenade up there can take out quite a lot of them. Again, you want to try and make sure you've got all of the acolytes down before you approach to try and get at the ogre. There is a 
a safer approach that I found again over my three hours rather than going up and around if you jump up here and then make your way around these boxes keeping the crates between you and the unsolvable ogre you can hit the arm of the ogre with your anarchy uh, if you're better than me anyway you can and then just head head down and just in case he moves out of the way I don't think he never did when I was doing this but you don't want to take a chance the nice thing about the unsolvables is obviously they don't regenerate so they're very tanky but if you do this a few times and you can even shoot stuff around the ogre as well and the ogre won't move the ogre actually has to have sight of you to chase you but if he does get sight of you he will come right round and, and down at the bottom if he can find a path to you then then he'll make his way down to you so there you go that's the the first ogre at the top dead and you see the first crystal is exposed to shoot and and destroy top left right so now i'm going to clear out the the lower area by the fuel tanks if i can i think there were one or two acolytes down there this is me being much braver than i am normally there you go there's one there it is just the one so i've done the one and then i'm running straight away back to my safe zone again now if you come up here then the ogre that spawns should stay at the back and you, you you're out of range of him here you can see the eye beam that he shoots is uh has a has a uh, maximum range and you are out of range at this point if you damage him he will go behind the fuel tanks as you can see as he's doing here but then again wait long enough and he will come back out again there we go So as you can see here, I'm not even using my anarchy. I'm just using the salvager salvo to try and keep the damage up. So, second ogre down. Uh, again, make sure you clear out the area. You don't want anything shooting you in the back here. And you can move around oh, and start dealing with those acolytes that are in the middle. This is the way I remember that I've I think I don't don't think I've shot the crystal at the top either, so I shall have to do that when I get back up there. But there's now an area where there are kind of free roaming acolytes here in the middle, which aren't connected with the with the barrier knights on each side. So again, I am just whittling these down, and once you've killed a few of them, they will retreat further up to where the the nightmare spawns. Taking crystal down, so I will now. This is now my new home base, pretty much, slightly elevated, so you get good sight lines into this middle area, and you can also peek around the side, down into the area below, and and the third area where there are where there's, a, there's a last barrier champion, and then the the last unstoppable ogre. Now this is where if you if they will and I would swap between the bottom and the top here because they will start spamming grenades at you after a while and they're pretty good and they, those solar grenades do area effect, effect damage so they will they're a little persistent as well 
So you can see they're hoiking them at me at a, on a regular basis from the right hand side at the moment. So I'm going to take a quick look. If you can get a group of them together then yeah, salvage a salvo or a grenade will will sort them out. But as before, you want to try and get rid of as many of the ads as possible before you start doing the bar damage to the barrier champion, particularly tra taking the, the barrier down because they'll just continue to interrupt. And because it's void burn, of course, the shredders that the acolytes use, uh, they can hurt once they start hitting you. Useful thing about getting them down low health is obviously you get the little marker above their head so you can see where they are, even though you've got chaff on. So I'm trying to get him to proc the shield. There we go. And now, of course, a bit of anarchy. Even though it's not arc burn, it still does reasonable tick damage. Keep him from moving too much by keep shooting him occasionally with the with the scout. And that should spawn. Yeah, you can see a whole load of ads have just spawned there. That should spawn the overload. Now, the overload may see you as soon as it comes out, in which case it will path its way around to you down here. This is what I'm watching for at the moment, because I think the uh, in previous runs, the ogre has pretty much come straight round to that corner there and made its way up to this platform. But obviously this time around I think it's only the acolytes that have seen me. So I'm going to see there, get a grenade on them now. Now that the ogre has seen me, chances are it will start pathing round to my location here. Yeah, there we go. In which case, obviously, I'm looking for Breach and Clear and Unstoppable Champion. I will then s jump off here and then use, you know, jump up, do a little bit of damage, jump down. And in between the time where he's staying here, if you haven't damaged as, as much of that as that, I was a bit lucky that time, um, he'll make his way down to where you are there and you can, you can, try and get the uh, the stun on him again. So right now I am just cleaning up the rest of the ads on the upper right hand side before I shoot the final crystal and then spawn the boss. Yeah, I didn't see the um, the deaths come up in the kill feed there, but I'm assuming they're dead because I can't see any movement over that side. Oh, I was wrong. They were just hiding behind boxes. Okay, still want to get rid of these, even though there's only a couple of them that left now. Right, there we go. Now we can start working on the boss and the spawned ads in the boss area. So as soon as he's up, get breach and clear, get as much damage on him early, get out of the way straight away though because as soon as he spawns and, and uh, you know, is, is aware of you, you're in close range of that eye beam which again will melt you in less than a, a fraction of a second. I had so many runs end at this point. But you will get couple of barrier champions one with a fire with the, with that kind of and one with the boom cannon the boom cannon is the one you want to get rid of first because that is uh, that can end your run quite quickly because it's fires really quickly does a lot of damage does area effect damage and he's pretty accurate with it so i try i come down here and see if i can isolate him get a team i can persuade to come out there on the left by himself. There we go, like that. 
and then try and get enough damage on him if he will cooperate try and get enough damage on him to uh, he's not cooperating to get the shield procced Still kind of isolated, so I'm not interrupted if I'm trying to get do the shield. I'm not being shot at by other ads. But there we go. Once he's once he's stunned, then you can get the anarchy on him. Two anarchy. Keep shooting with the scout rifle to stop him from moving around too much, and you're good. The the other one is a lot easier because, as I say, those while they do hurt a bit if you. Uh, get hit by them, they you can stand right in front of them at that distance and they'll pass either side of you. Yeah. Again, don't get too aggressive, too, uh, too you know, Rambo-y, because it, if you stick your head out there, and that's at the moment where the ogre sticks his out as well, then you will... You'll die. You'll lose all your health. Yeah. So... I think that's the last of the champions at spawn, unless I'm much mistaken. So now, as you damage the boss here, and chip away at the adds at the top, some uh, other waves of adds will spawn. Now, it will spawn a whole load of thrall here, and normally all five or six of them will run close together, and that one grenade thrown there will take them all out. But some things obviously stop them coming down this time. <coughs> So they all come at me one at a time, which is the first time that happened for me, but obviously, I suppose, be aware that can happen. Also be aware that there's snipers, void snipers, that will spawn at the top here. So don't stick your head out around the corner for too long, otherwise they will have a really good, really good go at taking, taking them off. Oh, there we go. That's the Arc Shielded Knight now again. So I'm not being shot at by the Ogre while I'm trying to take them out. I come down here. I think Salvage a Salvo. But then I thought, well, Anarchy's going to work. They're coming at me. They're pathing to me in a straight line. So... And if you're free to do it, the finish is always the best way, always the safest way. Right, so I think that's kind of the last of the difficult one, the difficult um, ads that come at you. The rest of them will sit up in that boss area, so you can... Oh, there's one more thrall here. You can sit here and in this area and damage. You can, you know, to a certain extent, you can run out and, and do little bits of damage. There you go. There's one of the snipers there. You can throw grenades out. But after, I don't know if it's a fixed time or it's after a certain number of enemies, there's a, there's a trigger. But the adds that are, that are up there will despawn fairly shortly look at me being brave here being brave and then running away like all good heroes do now this is where you know, it might be worth swapping over and bringing in a um, 
a void. No, actually, ignore that. You can't bring a void scout rifle in. Oh no, you could. If you're using anarchy, bring a void, a void scout rifle in, and you can use uh, ignition code if you want to use a, a blinding grenades a breach loading grenade launcher. Because, like I did earlier, you can use anarchy to get the the shield of the that that one knight, the melee knight off. And I, you know, that would probably be the one thing that I do change if I do this ever again, is I will bring that uh, that in as well as, you know, avoid scout rifle, because that d will do a whole lot of damage. But there you go. Painful, very painful. But, it, you know, 20 minutes or so get done. I would not use, I would not farm this. I might do this again just to with the with the void scout rifle to see if that does work better. Um, but as you can see, I'm using the top tree. I'm using night watch, using salvager salvo and anarchy for the arc damage. Using breach and clear from the uh, the arch the, the artifact this time, but the rest is pretty much set up. I am using the protective light and war mines decree. But everything else is pretty much as standard. It's your power, weapon, ammo finders and scavengers. So I hope that makes things a little easier for you. As I say, if you can do this in less than three hours, you are a, a better guardian than I am.